And welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of. everybody to another edition of Michaela Loves Gymnastics. In today's episode, we'll be t discussing the battle between Svetlana Horkina and Simone Biles and who is the greatest female gymnast of all times. Well, clearly we know Simone Biles is the greatest gymnast, period, male or female of all time. But Svetlana Horkina keeps throwing little shots and little tweets saying that she feel like she could beat her. So today's episode of the show, we're going to discuss the hardest skills that Spelana Horkina ever threw throughout her career and with today's technology and today's equipment, what skills do we think she will be able to do versus what we know Simone Biles can do and to see if she would even be competitive, even if she would even make the Russian team with everything that Spelana Horkina, we know that she is capable of doing. So let's start off with Vault. The Chong Fei vault is basically the same vault that Spelana Horkina invented, but in the tuck position. So do I think Spelana Horkina would be able to do the laid out Chong Fei vault? And with today's equipment, with today's, um, you know, the things that we, that the uh, coaches teach the girls on how to do the Chong Fei vault. Yes, I think Spelana Horkina would be able to do it. So we're going to put that into her repertoire. Her the second vault that I've ever seen Spellana Horkina do was the Yochinko Double Twist. So those are the two vaults we're going to go with for Spellana Horkina. Now, her uneven bars routine, we done saw lots of tricks and lots of skills. So we're not going to just, you know, make up. We're just going to say the, the routine composition that I think she's capable of. I never saw Spellana Horkina even attempt to do an in bar starter, a stew pan. I don't know if she's capable of doing it. So I'm not going to go there with her. I think the routine that Spellana Horkina is capable of is a straddle full turn straight into the Shapop, Shaposh one, Pat Soto down straight into her skill, the Horkina. Up on the high bar, starter one and a half turn into a marker law. Back up. Um, starter full turn, tuck full twist, and double back. And with that routine, that should give her a start value somewhere in the 9.5 to 6.0 range. And on that event, she's Simone still has a higher start value than her. Um, being there's a lot of things spell on her king that can throw. So let's just take, for example, she she does a round off layout step out mount, which is an E. Um, switch lead to wolf turn full turn, which is another D to her skill. Back handspring layout step out full twist and corbett, which is another D and a C added to her routine. Um, front walkover, which is a D skill. Um, a torture tape. But I don't, yeah, she wouldn't get credit for it. So I'm not going to take that into her team. Um, I think Horkina could do a, um, a strata turn for a twist. So I'm going to add that to her team. Um, a sideways skills. And then the hardest dismount I've ever seen Horkina dismounted was a round off gainer triple twist off the end of the beam. So we're going to go with that dismount, which is an F. So I think. With everything that's possible for her, I think she can get somewhere around a 6-2, 6-1, 6-3 on a good day routine. And Simone, I think her routine starts at like a 6-7 or 6-5, 6-6, something like that. So, again, Simone beats her there. And floor exercise, there's not even no, no reason to even bring this up. Simone would crush her on floor. Crush, crush, crush her on floor. I don't think Horkina could do an Arabian double front. She can bear... Well, I think at the height of her career, she was doing a full-end pike. So let's say she started her routine with a full-end pike. Her second tone pass was a full-end tuck. Her third tone pass was a whip into a triple twist. And her last tone pass was a two-and-a-half twist punch front. That would give her routine somewhere around a 5.5, 5.4, maybe 5.6 start value. And Simone will crush her. I don't understand where, why Spilano Horkina feels like she's competitive at the height of her career with Simone Biles. But she does. Um, it's just ridiculous. But um, 
We're not going to take anything away from Miss Belana Horkina. She is one of the greatest gymnasts, female gymnasts of all time, though. Of all time. Um, so, yeah. Belana Horkina, you done fell and bumped your head. You're no way. At the height of your career, you were nowhere as good as Simone Biles. The only difference between you and Simone Biles is Belana Horkina. You actually had competition. Like, you had Simona Armanar, Gina Gosian, um, Polka Paeva, Prudanova, um... Um, Zama Lachikina, um, you had a lot of girls, Dominique Daw, Shannon Miller, Dominique Mushihanu, like you was, in your era, it was a lot more competitive. Hell, Cardi Patterson, Courtney Coupets, Taryn Humphrey, now, Hurricane did compete in that decade, in that cycle between 1997 and 2000, where Team USA was bad, but... There was a lot of great gymnasts. Andrea Radakan. Um, and then this goes on and on and on and on and on. So, I think Svetlana Horkina's era was more competitive. She had better gymnasts to compete against her. Plus, there was going under the 10.0 scoring system. So, it was, it was a maximum score that a gymnast could possibly get. Whereas, now it's an open scoring system. So... And let's keep in, keep in mind, too, under the 10.0 scoring system, Simone wouldn't do as well as she's doing now because she doesn't stick landing. She hops a lot. She steps a lot, which now in this scoring system is okay. But back then, no, if you weren't able to stick the things that she was doing, like, without stepping or hopping, it was no point of you doing it. So with the different areas of gymnastics, it's not a real fair comparison. But I do think but, um, Simone Biles is better than Horkina by a lot. By a <laughs> a freaking lot. Um, what else did I want to talk to you guys about today? And our second topic we're gonna talk about today is racism in the sport of gymnastics. Now I know this is gonna be a little bit deep for everybody, so please keep in mind. Why does it seem like black girls who are just as talented as their white and Asian counterparts. Because from my point of view, I don't think the Asian American gymnasts get the same kind of backlash that the black gymnasts do. With the black gymnasts, unless you're Dominique Dawes, Gabby Douglas, or Simone Biles, you could be on the cuff and NBC aren't going to talk about you. Like Shalisa Jones right now, right? Nobody's talking about her. Nobody cares that she was didn't even make the... um. She was hurt for a world's trials. But if Simone Biles were hurt, it would be like national news. And um, I think Shalisa Jones had the exact same chance of making the world team as Riley McCusker. But everybody chose to be like, oh, Riley, Riley, Riley. So what is it with African-American girls in the sport of gymnastics? I'm talking about for America because clearly we see throughout the world a lot of uh of, of black girls are becoming big time stars. Melanie de Sous de Santos, the Downey sisters from Great Britain. I think Team France got three uh, talented African Americans. Well, black girls under a team. They're not African American. I think the UK have three talented um, black girls under a team. And the United States, we have a lot of talented black girls, but it's very hard for them to from my point of view, get the same kind of respect and attention as their white counterparts. And I just want to know why. Like, one of the top talented juniors that I think we should be, always be talking about is um, Sky Blakely. Uh, we talk about um, um, McCain. I can't think of her first name. I know. Ah, uh, I know it's something McCain. The t very talented super junior that's African-American on Team USA. We talk about her a lot. But even her, Kayla DeCello, gets more attention. I get Kayla DeCello is going to be able to be a senior before her. So maybe that's why. Um, what do you guys think it is? Why is it that African-American girls in Team USA gymnastics, unless you're like one of the top three, it's very hard for you to get the same kind of attention that your white counterparts get in USA Gymnastics. Thank you. Let's talk about it. See you next video.